Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today, we are at Apex Diesel in Atlantic, Pennsylvania, joined by owner Dustin Harrison. And between us here is a 2.6 smoothbore, 6.7 Cummins, and it's our Diesel of the Week. Engine Builder's Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Dustin, awesome to see you. Hey, how are you? Yeah, doing great. You know, I know we've uh, done some Diesel of the Weeks with you in the past and uh, finally get to be down here in the shop in person and check out some of what you guys do here at Apex and, and it's some awesome Cummins diesel stuff. And you got an example right here on the dyno uh, behind us. Yep. Uh, so if you would, tell us a little bit about this build in particular, you know, what, what brought it into the shop? Uh, so this is a 2.6 smooth bore for uh, customer in the class. He had a uh, 12 valve. We switched them a few years ago to a 24 valve. Okay. Um, the thing that brings everybody here is horsepower, more horsepower. Yeah. Um, so for this, it's an extremely limited inducer class. So you try to just squeeze as much horsepower you can out of that, the, the small amount of air that you can. So this year we changed them to a uh, common rail injection system, dual pumps, bigger injectors. Um, did a little bit of different head work, went to a bigger cubic inch, this uh, six, seven base, like we were talking. Yeah. And um, yeah, it should work good for them. We've changed, uh, boy, we've, we've changed a lot. We did some intercooler testing, um, injectors, couple different turbos, manifolds, um, three different cylinder heads now. I think we, we've done a lot of, I mean, we've done a lot of tests. It's been here for a few months, off and on the dyno. Um, we finally got it pretty well dialed in. We just got the tune up for it. Um, we got to make a couple more runs and should be ready to hit the track. Sounds like you guys are doing uh, your due diligence on, on the different yeah. uh, options he's got. Yeah, we want everybody to be happy. You, you want them to be uh, a happy customer is a competitive customer. Yeah. So if they're not competitive on the track, they're not happy. Right. And then it's coming back anyhow. So yeah. might as well be right while it's here and get, yeah. it, get it nailed down. <laughs> Dustin, it sounds like this customer has been with you guys for a little while and, and you guys have been yeah. doing different things with this particular build, but you know, walk us through, uh, you mentioned some of the stuff you're doing right now, but what's inside the engine in terms of components? So it's got a set of our billet rods. Okay. Uh, our billet 14 millimeter main girdle. Um, this engine now is running, it's got a set of diamond pistons um, dual pumps, dual CP3s, uh, custom camshaft, um, and then like I said, this is uh, the third cylinder head. We, do, we tried a couple different things, valves, doing some different things with valves, port, port work, um, and this is what we've we've come up with that works the best. So yeah, it's uh, not too over the top. They can't yeah. run can't run a deck plate in this class. So they have to be, it's gotta be an as cast block. Um, you can sleeve them down, you know, you can do different things, but we can't put a deck plate. So um, as a six, seven bore, we get, you still have the possibility of cracking them, but we get pretty good power, pretty good reliability. And uh, for the cost, it's a, it's a, it, it works out. Works out pretty good. Hey, you mentioned good power, you know, about how much horsepower it's, is this engine putting out? Just over 1,200. Okay. Yep. Very good. Which for uh, this class is, um, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's uh, a, like you said, you're kind of limited on the air. Yeah. So. For that small of a hole at 2.6, which is 66 millimeters, um, compared to a lot of other classes and what you can do, that's, uh, 
There's a, a lot of testing that goes on in this class to, to squeeze every bit of horsepower you can out of them. And about how much boost are you running to that turbo? Uh, just over 50. Okay. They don't make a, a, a lot um, comparatively mm -hmm. to other classes, but yeah. Yep. Pretty Very manageable. Good. Very good. Dustin, anything else about what you guys are doing now or anything else that's, you know, in the 6.7 that we're leaving out? I mean, standalone, uh, standalone injector or uh, electronic system. Okay. It's a CM849. So that's a, uh, some guys are going to, you can go to a MoTeC or a Bosch system. There's a, uh, a few different ways you can control them. And uh, the CM849 seems to work pretty good. They came on the, the factory Cummins trucks from 2006, 2007. And they're easily, you can get them pretty easy. You get harnesses for them pretty easy. Yeah. Um, Very good. Awesome. Yeah, other than that, it's a uh, air to air intercooler. They have to run air to air, can't run air to water. No water injection, uh, no nitrous. It's just all fuel and air. Sounds like uh, you guys are figuring out things that you need to and, and making this customer happy. And I'm sure he's going to be excited for spring to get, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. get out there. So. Yeah, yeah. He's been itching. I know that. And <laughs> anytime we've made some change, he comes here a lot. Um, he, he doesn't live too, too far away, but when he can and he knows we're going to run it, um, he tries to be here just to get, you know, that, get, some, get some ready to get down the track. Well, Dustin, we appreciate you telling us yep, about it. Good coming. Yeah, it's good seeing Thanks. you. Guys, that's been this episode of Diesel of the Week. Make sure you guys are checking out everything that Dustin and his team at Apex Diesel have going on here. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.